there, this is Marcel. Welcome to practice with me. So in this class we're going to do a 30 minute open to all level beginner vinyasa flow. So this is meant for people who have never practiced yoga before just to get a basic idea of what yoga practice, yoga vinyasa practice is. Or if you already have a practice, maybe just for you a little bit to move, to get in a little bit of sweat and rise up the energy. So looking forward to practice with you. So today in this class we will start in a seated position, uh, being cross-legged with the right leg in front. And then in this seated position, make sure you keep the chest lifted, shoulders are relaxed, and then resting your hands on your knees and close your eyes. And then sitting still with your eyes closed, take a full breath from your nose, deep inhale, from your mouth, cleanse and exhale. And while you're sitting in stillness, keep all your awareness focused into your body. And recognize your hips, your seating bones, your legs and your feet touching the ground, giving you a stable, solid foundation in this moment. And from this foundation, alongside your spine, from your belly, into your rib cage to the crown of your head. You can feel the torso creating elevation sitting up nice and tall. In this elevation the shoulders are relaxed, all the muscles in your face are softening, your jaw, your forehead. The body being still and steady but also feeling light and easy. Take one more breath from your nose, deep inhale. Again from your mouth, gentle exhale. And then take your hands in prayer, Anjali Mudra, with your thumbs at the heart. And then you feel when you inhale and exhale, how the chest, the heart space is very gentle, lifting and releasing. Recognize this constant motion that your breath is creating within your body. Constant flow of pulsation of energy. Making it our main intention for this practice to align deeper with this energy, to connect with the nature of our bodies. And once more, a full breath through your heart, inhale, and with the exhale, bow your head. And then lift your head, open your eyes. From here, interlace your hands. Palms facing towards the ceiling and stretch your arms straight. And then with your inhale, arch your back, lift the chest. With the exhale, reach your arms forward and round the back. Again, inhale, rise up, reach towards the sky. Exhale, round in your back and fold halfway forward. One last time, inhale, rise up and reach. And with the exhalation, round in your back, reaching your arms to the front. And for a side body stretch, inhale, rise back up, open your hands. Now take the left hand by your side and reach your right arm overhead. Lengthening your side body, inhale here, deepen. Exhale, circle the right hand to the floor, turn the chest down. Again, inhale, side body stretch, reach your right arm overhead, lengthen and open. Exhale, circle the right hand towards the floor. And one last time, inhale, rise up, reaching right arm overhead. Exhale, circle the right hand to the floor. And then for deeper twist, inhale, rise back to center, reach up. Exhale, open your arms, twisting your chest towards the right. Inhale, lift back to center, reach up. Exhale, twist towards the right. One last time, inhale, rise to center, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. And into a forward fold with your inhale back to center, rise up, reach. Exhale, lean forward and then bring your fingertips or if you have the space, bring your forearms to the ground. Just see how deep you can fold here without too much force. But in keeping your legs engaged, outer edge of your feet are pushing down, the seating bones, hips are pressing into the floor. And from this support in your legs, just very gentle, let the torso lean in. Also relaxing your neck, your shoulders, the head can lean forward.
and then inhale, rise back up. For a moment, you can stretch your legs forward, give them a little shake to release. And then second side, come to a cross-legged seat with the left chin in front. And then once more, sit up nice and tall, interlace your hands, reach your arms up to the sky. With your inhale, you lift and stretch out your back. With the exhale, you round on your back, reach your arms to the front. Again, inhale, rise up and reach. With the exhale, round and lengthen towards the front. One last time, inhale, rise up, lift your chest, reach up. Exhale, round in your back and reach forward. Side body stretch, with your inhale, you rise. With the exhale, you place the right hand by your side, reaching the left arm overhead. Make sure the hips stay on the ground. Inhale, reach further to the side, open more. Exhale, circle the left arm down, turn your chest to the floor. Inhale, reach overhead with your left arm, open side body stretch. Exhale, circle the left hand down. One last time, inhale, left arm overhead, side body stretch. Exhale, circle towards the ground. And for twisting, inhale, rise up to center, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, twisting your chest towards the left, use your arms for support. Inhale, back to center, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale to center, reach up. One last time with the exhale, twisting towards the left. And for a final forward fold, inhale, reach up to the center. Exhale, easy bow forward. But remember, legs stay engaged, hips are pushing down. See how deep you can fold. Maybe you're going to be up here with fingertips touching the floor. Maybe you can go deeper with your forearms down. Any position that works now, that allows you to soften and release your upper body. While you're holding the legs, very gentle engaged, releasing your neck, your shoulders, just see how far you can bow. And inhale, slowly rise up, come back to your seat. You can reach your legs forward for a moment, shake them out. And we're going to continue in table position and here we're going to start warming up the wrist joint a little bit. So in this table position first, turn your fingers pointing towards the side. So my thumbs are facing forward. Make sure you keep your weight in your index finger base and then really gripping your hands, your fingers into the ground, start to lean towards the left and right. This can be a very small gentle motion. Just see how much you can press your hands down and generate support through your arms into your shoulders and then bouncing from one side to the other. And here also integrating little circles, leaning forward and from one side to the other. And then from here, you're going to bring the back of the left hand down to the floor and you're going to place the right hand on top. And I'm really pushing my right hand into my left. And then from here, I start to open the left elbow and stretch my arm straight. Yeah, so really this movement, left elbow opens, bends, stretching straight, giving a little bit of motion into the wrist. And then keep your arm straight and rotated. So the same motion in your wrist, but now the arm is straight. And switch sides, back of the right hand down, left hand on top. Then really push into the ground so the hands feel stable. And then first right arm straight, bend the elbow and open. Arm straight, bend and open. And just for a couple of times, keep your arm straight but keep the rotation. So the motion of your wrist is the same, you're just doing it with your arms straight, elbow out. And then for a moment back to a seat and just give it a quick shake. And from here come to extend the child's pose. So you're having the hands at the front of your mat shoulder distance, but the knees are slightly behind your hips. 
Toes are tucked and you're sitting your hips on top of your heels. And then from here, inhale, rise up to table position. With the exhale, lean forward, keeping the tailbone tucked, lower ribs in, so the center of the body is strong. Lean forward, bend the elbows, hover towards the ground. With your inhale, push up into table, strong and steady. Exhale, move back into child pose. Again, inhale, rise up to table, neutral spine, core active. Exhale, lean forward, bend the elbows, tuck the tailbone, step by step, strong, lean towards the ground. And inhale, push back up into table. Exhale, sit into your child pose. One more time like this. Inhale, rise up to table position, keeping a neutral spine, table tuck, core active. Exhale, lean forward, bend the elbows, hover to the ground. And from here, inhale, push back up to table. Exhale into chest pose. Now we're going to start integrating back bends here. Inhale, rise up table. Neutral spine, lean forward, bend the elbows, active core. With the exhale, release down. From here, untuck your toes, push into the floor with the back of your feet. Inhale, lift your chest, hover your hands off the ground. Give it one full breath here, rise up a little bit more. And exhale, release to the floor. Inhale, push into the table. Exhale, into child pose. Again, inhale, rise to the table. Exhale, lean forward, bend the elbows with control, hover to the ground. Untuck the toes, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, float your hands. Stay here, full breath. Lengthen the chest further forward. With your exhale, release down. And then inhale, push into table position. Exhale into child pose. One last time, with your inhale, rise up table. Exhale, lean forward, bend the elbows, hover to the ground. Untuck the toes, make your legs strong, so the kneecaps are slightly lifted here. With your inhale, lift the chest, float your hands. But then keep the chest lifted for Shalabhasana, reach your arms back, palms facing down, float your feet off the ground. Lengthen your toes, your fingers behind you while the chest is reaching forward. Give it one more full breath. And exhale, reset your hands and toes, release. Inhale, rise to table. With the exhale into downward facing dog, keep the knees gentle bent, but push from your arms, your shoulders backwards to lift the hips up. You can see here, I keep the knees bent, so I really have the ability to tilt my pelvis forward, pushing my belly towards my thighs. And I try to lengthen my upper body. From my hands, arms, through my shoulders into the torso, using all that strength I have to lift the table high. And then maybe starting to pedal the heels, creating more space in my legs. And then from your downward facing dog, gaze forward and two big steps, come to the front of your mat. Feet are parallel hip distance and open into half stretch Ardha Uttanasana. So my hands are at my shins, I really roll the shoulders back, arch my back to lengthen forward, but I keep the knees bent so my pelvis has space to tilt. And here I take a full breath in, expand, with the exhale, Uttanasana, deep forward fold. Just releasing my neck, my shoulders. Fingertips touching the ground. Again, if you feel very tight and you're here folding, bend the knees deeper. Allow space for the body to bow in. And for Utkatasana chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips low, but then keep the chest lifted, reach your arms up to the sky. Make sure the palms are facing each other, your arms are reaching while the shoulders are relaxed. And then feel this demand in your legs. Your quad should slowly start talking, telling you that this Utkatasana is not the easiest, most relaxing chair you can find. And with your exhale to stand Tadasana, straighten your legs, arms by your side. Take a full breath in, shoulders back, palms forward, and soften the exhale. From here, Tita Asana, reach your arms straight up to the sky. Again, palms are facing each other, shoulders are relaxed. And then with your inhale, give it more stretch, lift the chest, lengthen. With the exhale, hands to the heart, bend your knees, easy, fold forward, Uttanasana. Open.
open halfway out of Uttanasana and from here step into your downward facing dog. Again, remember use all your strength in your upper body from arms through shoulders into the tailbone. You want to lift and lengthen along your spine while the knees are gentle bent to allow space. And then keep hands and feet at the same position, lower into plank, high plank. Lean forward, bring shoulders over wrist. Make sure feet are hip distance, hands are shoulder distance. Arms are strong and straight and you want to lengthen and stretch. Heels behind your heart space forward. With your exhale, drop the knees first. Keep the core engaged, tailbone tucked, lean forward, bend the elbows, hover to the ground. Keep your hands at the same position, untuck the toes. Make your legs strong, the kneecaps are lifted. You can feel all those muscles here working. And then using this work and strength, lift the chest up, Bhujangasana Cobra. Hug your elbows in, roll the shoulders back, push your feet down, lengthen the heart space forward. And exhale, release. From here, slowly pick it up into your downward facing leg. In a moment in down dog, finding stillness. Again, lifting the hips high, let the body stretch, catch your breath. And then step the right foot to the inside of the right hand. From here, bring the left knee down. So your legs are in a low lunge position and they are hip distance parallel. But then from here, using the support of your leg muscles, Make the torso lifted and open to the front. Come onto fingertips, but the fingertips are light. And then from here, stretch the left leg straight. Same thing, we're in a high lunge position now, but there is not a lot of weight in my hands. I'm using my leg muscles, making the fingertips light. And from this leg support, I lift my torso, take my hands to my hips. Really lifting the left heel over my toes, bending the right knee deep. And then here gently, like an Utkatasana, lifting my chest, reaching my arms to the sky. And welcome to High Pressure Pose. And with your exhale, release into Downward Facing Dog. Then for the left side, bring the left foot to the inside of the right hand. And the right knee down first. And then on fingertips, lift and expand the torso forward. Now from this low lunge position, stretch your right leg straight, lift the knee up, so we're in a high lunge, but still using leg strength to expand the chest forward, make your fingertips light. And then use the leg support, lift the torso hands to your hips. Full high lunge. Remember to bend the front knee deep, keep it centered over your ankle while the back heel is lifted high. And then reach your arms up to the sky, high crush on the second side. Again, palms are facing each other, arms are stretching up with the shoulders relaxed. And then release into your downward facing dog. Once more into plank, shoulder over wrist, lean forward. Keeping arms and legs strong and straight in your choice, you can either drop the knees or challenge yourself, keep the legs straight, lean forward, bend the elbows. Slow motion with control, hover to the ground. Bhujangasana Cobra, untuck the toes, charge your legs. From here, lift the chest up. Elbows in, shoulders back, lengthen the heart space forward. And on your next breath, into downward facing down. From downward facing dog, step the right foot in the center between your hands and spin your left heel down. Come a moment on fingertips. Make sure your left foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat and your front heel and your back ankle are on one line. From here into warrior two, lift the torso, chest is facing to the side, and then open your arms, gaze to the right hand. Make sure the outer edge of your left foot is pushing down for leg support. The front knee is bent deep over your ankle. Your arms are reaching, shoulders relaxed. Gaze to the right hand. And 
and then stretch your right leg straight. Turn your feet parallel. So you're standing in a triangle, straight as stands now. And from here, easy start to bow forward, lean towards the ground. You can release your fingertips, round in your back. Just see how deep you can fall here. Keep the outer edge of your feet pushing down so your legs feel engaged and supportive. And then leaning into the support, just gently releasing neck and shoulders, folding in. And then rise up halfway. Turn the right foot forward, re-bend the knee. Plant your hands at the front and step back into downward facing back. And second side, we bring the left foot forward between our hands. Spin the right heel down. Same foot position on the second side. Front heel and back ankle aligned and the outer edge of your back foot parallel to the short end of your mat. And then rise warrior two on the left side. Torsos lift the chest open sideways. Arms reaching back and forth and your gaze to the left hand. Again, remember bending your front knee deep. Keep it center over the ankle. Don't let it collapse. Don't let it bend too deep. Right over the ankle. And then stretch the left leg straight. Turn your feet parallel to the side. Want more feeling support from your legs and then fold the torso forward. Lean towards the ground. As you can see, I keep pushing my feet down. My heels, my toes, outer edge is really gripping the floor. So I feel all the strength in my legs and this allows me to lean in deeper, just relaxing my upper body. Maybe you can walk on fingertips behind you and holding the ground, pulling yourself a little bit deeper into this fall. Then again, release, rise up halfway on fingertips. Turn the left foot forward, bend the knee. Replace your hands. Step into your downward facing dog. From here into plank, shoulder over wrist. Again, your choice, you can drop the knees or keep legs straight. Lean forward, bend the elbows with control, slow motion. We hover to the ground. One last time, Bhujangasana, Cobra, untuck the toes, charge your legs. Lift the heart up. Lengthen the heart space forward and move the shoulders back. And into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Then from downward facing dog, open your feet mat distance. And then slowly walk your hands to the back side of your mat. First, make sure that your toes, your knees are pointing in the same direction. Feet can be a little bit more open than hip distance. And then bend the knees, squat the hips down to Malasana, Yogi Squat. Again, remember, knees and toes pointing in the same direction. If your heels are lifted like this, you can roll the mat up to have a little bit of support or you can use a towel or something. Just make sure the heels are touching something that is solid to support. And then here, hands to the heart. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. And take a moment, nice and easy breath into your belly, feeling a good stretch, and release after all these standing postures. And then from here, easy fingertips to the ground, just stretch your legs straight, and then bring your feet in parallel hip distance. Just very gentle bow forward. Again, relaxing neck and shoulders, just finding a gentle Uttanasana. You can also hug in your elbows, bailing head with your arms. And then with gravity hanging a little bit left to right, relax. And then release, come back to table position. And we're going to work towards dolphin pose. So in dolphin pose, our forearms are like a triangle on the floor. Elbows are shoulder distance and hands are interlaced. Important when you interlace your hands, keep one pinky finger inside and really make sure your index face is touching and squeezing together for more engagement. 
Okay, setting up forms in a triangle and then like downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up. And then walk your feet slightly forward. Knees can be bent for more space. But make sure you're not rounding your back too much. Tilt the pelvis forward, lift the table, and then push your arms into the ground and move your chest towards your legs. Think of bringing upper and lower body together to create more lift into the hips. And keeping the head hanging down, but not touching the floor, your neck should be comfortable in the legs. And then slowly release, bring the knees down. For a moment into child's pose, untuck the toes, sit the hips back. And then you can form like a little cushion with your hands, just relaxing your forehead, leaning down. Then take a full breath from your nose, inhale, from your mouth, gentle exhale. And then inhale to rise, come to a seat. Now from this seated position, find your way onto your back. I'm going to finish off the class with some gentle back bending. So lay on the floor, keep the knees bent and your feet close to your hips. And the legs should be parallel hip distance apart. And then first push your elbows into the ground, palms are facing each other, fingers are engaged spread. With your inhale, lift the hips up, stretching into this half bridge. With the exhale, release the hips down. And again, inhale, we lift the hips up. And exhale, release down. And once more, inhale, rise, lift the hips up. And exhale, release down. One last time with your inhale, lift the hips up, stretching, expanding the whole front body. With the exhale, release down. Just take a moment here, keeping the leg position but holding the torso still. Allow the body to rest and focus into your breathing. And same thing one last time, we're going to hold it for a moment, static. Half bridge, sit up under Sarvangasana. Push your elbows down, palms facing each other, lift the hips up. Then really hug your shoulders in to support your chest. Straighten your arms and interlace your hands behind your back. Pushing your arms and shoulders down for supporting your chest. Push your feet down, try to lift the hips further up. Again, stretching the whole front body and into this deep stretch and opening. Feel your breath. Gentle inhale and exhale. And with your next exhalation, slowly release, come back to the floor. And you just for a moment bring the feet to touch, open the knees to the outside, Sukta Bada Kunasana. And take the right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. And then a cleansing breath from your nose, inhale, from your mouth, easy exhale. And using the support of your hands, bring your knees to touch in the center, open the feet mat distance. Then easy, gentle, rolling your legs to the left and to the right, windshield by the twists. And 
and just dropping your legs as they are towards the right side. You can place the right foot on top of the left knee for more support. Then really feeling the weight, the heaviness of your legs easing into that deep twist and hip stretch. While you're keeping your torso, your shoulders centered, you can even open your arms. And then release your right foot, windshield wiper twist towards the left. And the same here, now bring the left foot on top of the right thigh. Again, we're creating more weight in the legs to deepen our twist and hip stretch. While we open your arms, let the shoulders be soft in the center. And then once more release. Now take both knees towards your belly, hugging your arms around your legs, just easy rolling a bit left to right to relax your lower back. And keep the knees bent, but now using your arms, your hands, pull your knees towards your armpits, so you're creating a deeper stretch into your hip. And then really pressing your lower back down, breathe into your belly. And just for a moment become still here, holding this position and breathing. And then release your legs, one by one, and bring them straight to the floor. You can also for a moment roll around to make sure the hips are really relaxing, lower back is comfortable. And then open your arms by your side with the palms facing up. Getting ready for the final position, Charles. And then here take one more full breath from your nose, inhale. From your mouth cleansing, exhale. And then keeping your presence, your focus with your breath. Just feel how the body is naturally relaxing, naturally wants to rest after the effort of your asana practice. And while the body is relaxing, your mind is present and focused. Just feeling this unity, this harmony of body and mind that allows you to release deeper. Finally coming to rest in your Shavasana.
slowly start to increase your breathing. Find a deeper inhale and lengthen your exhale. Very gentle start to mobilize your fingers, your toes, spread out arms and legs. Allow the whole body to wake up from Shavasana. And then bend both knees, pull them towards your belly. Very easy rolling left to right to massage your lower back. Then roll over towards the right side. And from here, using the support of your hands, rise up, lift yourself into a seat. And with your eyes closed, sit up nice and tall, keep the chest lifted and open. Find your hands in prayer, Anjali Mudra, with your palms at the heart. For a last moment, feeling the body steady and still, feeling the mind clear and centered. Being grateful for your practice, the effort you were giving today, that was taking you into this space now. Taking a final breath through the heart deep in. From the mouth, exhale out. And then bow your head. Namaste.